And what we do is magic for people. It is freedom. It is wealth building. It is asset creation. It is income multiplication. This is the deck that we use to, uh, to get deals when we are sharing them with somebody that we don't know that doesn't know us. So we're outsourcing and automating the deal process by saying, look, if you want to work with us, this is what it looks like. This is our trust agent. We're not saying anything about us. We're sending them to the deck. That is a big deal. Because even though we created the deck, we're, we're positioning it in a way where it is able to say good things about us that is way more credible than if we say them ourselves. And in our world that we are all in, right? What do people ask for when they want to find out about things? They send me a deck. Great. We have one. We're professional. We've done that. So it starts with current portfolio performance. We've got a whole bunch of these companies. Now, in the one that we do for every for our epic board members it's uh it's our companies because we don't we don't want to you know to put other companies on there but we've got a lot of companies right so you start with that position of look we already have a portfolio wow that's a portfolio this these guys are serious right and they've got experience and they're all over the place and they've got logos you know cool right then we say it's a proven system for growth in 24 different industries, we've grown $700 million companies, a billion dollar company, and a whole crap ton of $10 million companies, right? A whole bunch of them. Then here's how we work. This tells them this is how we work. We're not telling them that's it. I mean, I can't change it. It's, this is, this is, this it's is already our, on there. This is our standard it's, terms. It's right? there. You can't. It's standard terms. Text. As an attorney, the biggest thing you learn is like, if you want things in a contract, you take the contract and the contract is super simple. Name, address, phone number, deal point one, two, three, four. And then there's a thing on the back that says standard terms and all the stuff that you don't want to negotiate, you put in standard terms because don't nobody ever looks at it, right? Uh, so monthly, 10% of client sales secured by accounts receivable on exit, 10% of the aggregate proceeds from the sale, okay? And you'll know why we take profits, interest instead of equity in most of the deals we do when Grant talks later. Then meet the team. Now in the decks that we do for you guys, it's your pictures here. And then the advisory board is us, okay? Then we talk a little bit about this is what we do and these are the kinds of companies we want. That's explained. And you do a video of this too. We talk about the five exits of an entrepreneur. Most of the people that you will deal with will be wanting to exit some part of their company even if they don't want to sell. So we talk about the five exits of an entrepreneur is like where you start accidental entrepreneur is wearing all the hats and doing all the things. You're on the line providing the services and selling the stuff. You need to exit that to get out of that spot where you're doing everything to have any hope of scaling. That starts with delegating. Now you're a manager. You've moved from the line to a manager. That's cool. That's what Gerber talks about in the E-Myth Revisited. It's a pie shop and you can't just make the pies. You've got to work, uh, you've got to work on the business, not in it. Then we say, but really, you need to move from delegation to leadership. Leadership is being a CEO. Most of the people that you deal with who call themselves CEOs are not. They are operators. And so explaining to them how they can move from being the person who is a manager to an actual leader, a CEO of their company, that's another exit. So there, there's three exits there, right? And we still own the company. But yet there's another one. There's exit the org chart. How do I get off the org chart? This is where I like to live. I don't like to be on any org chart because if I am, I have a job description and a job title and stuff to do. I don't want a job. So if we can move you off the org chart from CEO, if that's something you're ready to do, to the board of directors, then you move from leadership to governance. You're going to supervise the company. This is where we're starting to be above the business. We're no longer thinking of selling the products or services or widgets that the company sells. We're thinking of selling the business. The business itself is the thing that we want to sell. Awesome. Now we're on the board, but then we can exit the board and be completely free of any operational or supervisory responsibility of the company. And you know what we are then? We're an investor. And one of the companies in our portfolio now is this company. You can paint this picture really vividly 
for anybody that you're doing business with. And then you say, and then if you decide that you want to sell the company, don't have to. We would like for you to be ready to. We call that exit ready, but it doesn't mean that you have to. You're going to have a better company. If you're thinking like an investor, you're going to want the company to perform well, right? So you can sit there or you can exit ownership. So there's five different exits that you can talk about that your people that you're working with can go through and you can facilitate all of them. So that's that's our kind of, you know, some of our secret sauce. We talk about the uh, leveraged, uh, sales, the SPV model of sales, profits, and value, leverage sales, bankable profits, and transferable value. And um, that's the that's the word that I used. And uh, Ryan, we were trying, I was like, I changed one of the words. Uh, but anyway, so so now they've got a model, a framework, right? And we talk about, well, you want to get, you want to increase sales. And then I go into case studies. Like there's 196 primary sales accelerators. You guys have access to all this, by the way. 196 primary sales accelerators. Here's a few of them. I can help you with that. And here's some case studies. So now we go to what if you don't have any case studies? Well, if you're on Epic Board, you can use ours. You can partner with somebody or um, or you can just skip it like I used to do because I, I only just started using case studies. So grew a $360,000 a year e-commerce business 86 times. That's pretty sexy because they're going to future pace themselves into this. I'd like to grow 80s. Well, if I grow 86 times, it'd be this. To three, $31 million a year, added products to digital info sales, brought in professional management, exited to a billion dollar strategic acquirer. That sounds good. That's a case study, right? Case study two, completed digital transformation of a live events company, reduced costs by 50%, increased sales by 200%. Case study three, these are all just sales. Grew a multinational manufacturing company to sales on five continents, nine figures in sales, installed professional management and uh, professionalized for exit to a strategic acquirer. Then we've got this bankable profit thing. Not just profit, bankable profit. I can take this profit and put it in my pocket. How many of you have got profitable businesses that you don't ever take any profits out of, right? That, that's a really good conversation because a lot of people are experiencing the pain of that. Well, we've got 63 profit accelerators that we're going to work with you to increase the profit in your company across six different categories, right? Then case studies, consumer products company in the golf space in debt, over $3 million, losing money, re-architected the business model, restructured the business to eliminate existing debt, generated $2.4 million in profits in just 12 months. Then created a new value ladder and negotiated a strategic partnership to transform a software as a service company from losing $300,000 annually to generating annual profit of $2.4 million. Number three, redesigned a business model of a rapidly growing professional services company to increase profits 300%, reduce staffing needs, and lower operating costs by 67%. Again, these are all very strategically chosen from my private clients and portfolio companies that we've got so that it addresses any, any so that it addresses the broadest potential spectrum of needs and desires that our ideal target would have. And then increasing valuation, building transferable value, all goes in line with the framework. We've got 50 primary value amplifiers. Uh, and then we talk about the uh, valuation multiple, multiple arbitrage that owner-operator businesses typically only sell for 2.5 times, but just installing professional management and professionally, professionalizing the company can take you up a full 2x two, two in multiple. So that's a really good strategy because right now, most of the people we're dealing with are owner operators. They can't leave the business for six months or a year and come back and expect it to be as good or better as when they left it. Then exit to private equity, that's selling for 15.3. That's our game. We go from, and I just talk about it in colors. We try to take you from a blue box company to a red box exit. That's what we're really about here. And don't worry, because I know a lot of you are really concerned, are those private equity guys going to make it? They are. <laughs> They're going to go public, and it's 21.7 now, even after huge, huge losses. Valuation case studies, restructured a home services company, increased the value 221%, achieved $4 million in tax savings, and negotiated an exit to a strategic acquirer. Grew a training event company 50 times, sales revenue of 6x, and enterprise value 20x, resulting in an exit to a strategic partner that was a Blackstone company. That was our event, right? Set, case study three, grew a digital publishing company by 3x, profits by 12x, repositioned the business model, acquired additional products, increased the value 30x. Nine case studies. You want to talk about credibility, but I didn't have to say any of that because we have this 
to give to people.